you rang. The roast doctor's hand. A lot of people say if they could go back in time, they would kill baby Hitler. Not me. If I could go back in time, I would just kill Colin's dad one more time. <laughs> Man, Colin's really changed since he moved to Austin. He kind of sold out. Well, the first day Colin came to Austin, I will never forget this. The first thing Colin said to me, he said, I hate the black people. Because <laughs> Colin's super fucking racist. <laughs> he a ghost. <laughs> yeah, Colin's dad died in his arms. Uh, that's probably because the only CPR Colin knows is Kappa Cola Parmesan and Rigatoni. <laughs> Rocket Man, Dr. Rocket, you've heard what he said about you. Why, why'd you agree to this, Dr. Rocket? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think Mike's just nervous because I'm a doctor. Mike looks like his primary care physician is Dr. Pepper. Who's that? <laughs> This crowd loves soda. All right, good. Oh, man, it's no secret that Mike has a great stage presence. Uh, in fact, the only thing better than his stage presence are the presents he drops down my chimney every Christmas, you <laughs> fat fuck. <laughs> Up here looking like Christmas Christmas, dude. Come on, now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh man, say what you want about Mike, but Mike is determined. You know what I mean? When Mike was a kid, his favorite movie was Like Mike. He would watch Like Mike every single day. And sure enough, 20 years later, he grew up to look exactly like Mike. Mike Lazowski. <laughs> Mike Eaton. Mike's name is Mike Eaton. Uh, isn't that a little on the nose? Jesus Christ, what is your dad's name? Daniel Disappointed? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. You guys might not know this, but Mike tried to commit suicide when he was in high school. <laughs> and the fucked up part is, is it actually worked. Uh, <laughs> the good part is the, para the paramedics were able to revive him by putting a freshly baked cherry pie in a window seal. <laughs> and Mike floated up to it like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I don't have any problem getting women, dude. I got a fucking bag of rubies in my pocket. <laughs> Come on now, bro. I knew he'd say it. Right. Okay. Man, Mike Eaton, dude, Mike loves bragging about himself on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you've seen it. Last week, Mike posted like five times about opening up for Louis C.K., which makes a lot of sense because apparently they both love jerking themselves off in front of their friends. I'm fucking out of your mind. Come on. <laughs> Literally one of the fastest people who's ever existed. <laughs> If anything doesn't check out, it's what? Right that. Come on. There's no secret that Kiki is what? Boring as shit. Kiki told me that her favorite book is How to Win Friends and Influence People, which inspired me to write my own book called How Talking to Kiki Influenced Me to Drink an Entire Cup of Bleach. <laughs> Kiki is a habitual liar and long-term con man only for financial gain. She said her father is a Hungarian Latin Jew and her mother is an Italian Canadian. Hey Kiki, the only thing more crooked than your backstory is your literal backstory. She's got scoliosis! You would know a thing or two about fucking animals, Kiki. After all, you did marry Richard Ramirez the Night Stalker. Pass that to the judges. Casey's favorite prop isn't signs. It's black people in photos. <laughs> yes, I have many black friends. I'm sorry, Kiki. <laughs> such a wonderful, such a wonderful guy. You know that drives you crazy. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Kiki spelled backwards is ick ick, which is fitting because she smells like shit. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Holly Johnson told me she was born in New Hampshire. Uh, but if you ask me, I think she was born in an old hamper. She smells like shit! Cut my life into pieces!
pieces. Yeah, that was pretty rude. I wouldn't expect anything less from the girl who hangs out with Slender Man every day. You piece of shit. <laughs> oh yeah, and that wasn't even my friggin' roast, you piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but if you rearrange the letters in Holly Johnson's name, it spells, I like it to N-word. Uh, <laughs> and when I confronted her about this, she said, you know what, Casey? You know what they always say? A picture says a thousand N-words. <laughs> She was in Charlottesville. <laughs> click, click, boom! Um. <laughs> oh, hold on. For this next roast, I hope you don't mind if I slip into something a little more comfortable. Release the files, Holly. <laughs> That's really strong words for someone who literally flooded New Mexico with blue crystal meth. <laughs> you absolute nightmare. <laughs> Think about the kids. Holly Johnson has very small teeth. Uh, <laughs> Holly looks like the girl from the ring if she only crawled out of a Nintendo DS. <laughs> okay, well if I'm such a bad guy, why did I literally hang out with Nelson Mandela last night? <laughs> he did, it's true. <laughs> it checks out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Holly Johnston, Holly, Holly told me that when she got out of college, she used to work in a hospital where she drug tested people every day, uh, which is weird because she was in the marketing department, you fucking narc. <laughs> Adam told me the scariest day of his life was when he overdosed on meth. Which is fitting, because the scariest day of my life was the first time he ever smiled at me. <laughs> yeah, you know about razors, Adam's so lazy, man. Adam is so lazy when his girlfriend said she was pregnant, he took the escalator up before he pushed her down the stairs. <laughs> Twisted bastard, I'll tell you, he's one of, one of the most grossest guys. Adam's not allowed within 500 feet of a school. Not because he touches the kids or anything, he just keeps sneaking in at night to dance with the mobs. <laughs> yeah, Adam looks like the crypt keeper if the only thing in the crypt was a big old tub of mustard. <laughs> Visual cue, thank you. I'm going to slowly pass that around. I know, looking at Joe Begley, you might think, wow, this guy seems really cool, but he kind of fucking sucks. Uh, <laughs> Joe Begley was born and raised in Connecticut, but after talking to Joe for a little bit, you might think he was born and raised in poopy diaper town. Because Joe Begley smells like shit. <laughs> Hey Joe, bath time called. You're a little bit overdue for your <laughs> Hey Joe, I got an idea. Eat dirt, slime bag. <laughs> get information from Joe all week. Every time I message him, he's been extremely short with me, which is really unusual for a guy with such a long ass torso. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joe, a horse called. They think your arms are fucking weird. 
So roasted, so young. Uh, you might not know this, but Joe Beckley's first job was at a, as a cashier at Forever 21. But sure enough, he put his head down, he worked hard, and he started his own business called Preferably Under 16. Joe likes little kids. Joe likes to fuck little kids. Smart guy, man. For example, Joe told me his favorite movie of all time is The Dark Knight. And uh, I, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Joe, isn't superhero movies for little kids and not guys with scary long fucking arms, you fucking crazy weird guy with long arms? And, and I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but the more I thought of it, the more sense it made because just like Batman, Joe loves beating the shit out of minorities in Africans. <laughs> Hey Joe, bath time called. You're late for your appointment. <laughs> uh, for my next row step. Come on. Go to the main Guys, for my final roast, I've prepared a written statement. <laughs> At approximately 2.30 a.m. last night, while I slept soundly next to my wife, Amanda Pandemonium, who is tall and has big sloppy boobs. <laughs> I awoke to find the defendant, Joseph the Problem Child Buckley. His words, sitting at my bedside with a gallon of whole milk. <laughs> Joe leaned over and said, you and me need to have a talk, you slutty bitch. <laughs> Mr. Beckley reeked of whiskey and Caesar salad dressing. <laughs> Mr. Beckley then took me down to my own basement and tied me to a chair where he began to milk board me. <laughs> All the while he was screaming, where are the documents? Where are the documents? Where is that new back on El Bagdadi? If I had the documents, I would have handed them over because I believe in this country. <laughs> Finally, after his extremely long arms grew tired of beating my very strong bones, <laughs> Joe untied me and began to leave my home. Finally, was over. Is this the type of man you want to represent you in Congress? I know I don't. P.S. As I was sitting there fearing for my safety and the safety of my big-titted goth wife, I thought to myself, wow, this dude really does smell like a shitty diaper.